Hey, it's the Chief Bonding with Board Games, and first of all, I was out mowing, and this is how I dress. I'm sweaty, I'm stinky, and this is the the Panama Jack hat that I wear. Hold on, it's not Panama Jack. What is it? It's got a name on it. You don't care, but I gotta tell you, it's a Discovery Channel hat. All right, this shows up. I knew it was coming. Storm Hollow. It's the storyboard game that I backed on Kickstarter October 4th, 2012 is when I pledged. It says it was funded the same day. I, I pledged it early, but it funded on October 4th, 2012. Boom. Been waiting a long time for this. So, stopped what I was doing, came in because I need to get in here and look at this. Boom. So, I want to say a couple things. Um, the packaging game, well, there, let me back up. Game Salute basically took over this project from the creators. I'll name them later, they're, they're on the box. And shepherded the project along professionally. Wonderfully professionally done. Um, there's some bad press, whether you run across it or not on Game Salute, but I'm telling you, um, what they did here was amazing. They stepped in, uh, and whoever took over the the like the operations project of it just did a phenomenal job. The updates weren't as often as you might expect, but the creators did a good job of showing we're here, we're here, or hey, there's been a problem, or hey, we're proofing this, or hey, we're having to finish X, Y, Z. Then I want to go to Game Salute has uh, Ship Naked. I don't know if it's Game Salute, Ship Naked, but they're all related together. The shipping of this thing, this game weighs 19 pounds. 19 pounds. It's huge. It's heavy. It's thick. This is a little storybook, color book, sticker things that come with it. We'll look at it. I barely remember what's in it. But how it comes protected. All right. So it was in another box on top of this. Then it's double boxed itself and perfectly, perfectly packaged. I'm gonna tell you I bought two of these back in 2012. I thought these are great, um, I love it. My brother has some kids that are younger, I might give it to him or if it's as cool as I think it is, maybe I can sell this second copy and it will offset some of the price of this one. I don't know if it'll do that or not. But $100 for this, $200 for both. They both came packaged, double boxed, and then each of them were in a box, a larger box that weighed 40 pounds, okay? But I, knew, I wanted to tell you the way it shipped because I was a little nervous that it would get damaged in shipping. All right, I'm gonna get into the actual unboxing here in a second. This is a, a kind of, think of a light RPG game. It's all about developing the story. My son, my oldest son that I originally got this for is now uh, 10. And he actually likes role-playing games. He may have outgrown this one a little bit, but my eight-year-old son has Down syndrome and he likes the game as well. But there's a little bit more challenges there and I think this will be good for the entire family. Um, we'll see how that goes if I do a review. I never promised doing a review, but you're gonna get an unboxing. So let me step away from this. You don't need to look at my dirty, stinky self with my lawn mowing hat and edging hat. We're gonna go in and I'll show you what is inside, but I'm, I'm impressed by what GameSloot did to bring this to me, both physically and to help that developmental process because I don't think this one would have fulfilled, or if it did, it wouldn't have been to this level of professionalism and perfection. In to take a closer look. Ham tie. <laughs> All right, first I want to show you, I am not telling a fib here. You can see this box weighed 19.2 pounds. Storm Hollow Bundle Game Salute. And I want to let you know, so we got a double boxing here. It's actually triple box because I have an identical one of these and they ship together in, in a same box. All the corner protectors that were in, uh, they even had this like junk, that you know, cardboard paper that was up above everything else just to kind of hold it so the box didn't jump up and down and jam itself. But thank you. 
All right, and I'm sure it's lessened the amount of damage or, you know, people saying hey, my box got crushed due to the weight. So they did a wonderful job. So first of all, this is what you see when you finally unzip this box. You've got this little bonus pack. I know some people even had this opened and signed by the, uh, the creators, which are uh, Angela Hickman Newham, or Newham, and Julian, sorry, Lieberan, Lieberan Titus. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, so first you've got uh, Story Souvenirs. Contains a huge 24 by, 24 by 36 inch map of Storm Hollow, 20 page coloring book, 6 hero bookmarks, and six, 6 rift uh, postcards. And I'm going to open this up just so you can see what's in here and you're going to get an idea of the beauty that was bestowed upon this game. So. And it is so hot here, it's almost 100 degrees. My AC is kicking on with the family here. I'm not going to turn it off. So bear with me if that noise is coming in. Also, grandson's over and my two kids. If it ends up sounding like a daycare is being hosted in my house, it is. All right. Um, it's kind of got like that warm, satiny feel to the cover of this coloring book. And so you can just see some of the little pages that are here. And again, everything about this game is really designed to appeal to children. And that was one thing I liked about it. So we've got our postcards here. We've got some bookmarks here. Let's open these up. And we'll take a look. I know this is bonus material, but quite honestly, I want to see it. And all of these will relate to the game. So there's a whiz banger, a tail spinner, and I believe these are the uh, the roles in which you can take within the game. Lightbringer, uh, Storm Chaser, the Rift Walker, and a uh, Spark Caller. And you can just see the art style that's here. Sorry, there goes the daycare. Um, the art style and uh, just the the beautiful nature of what is Storm Hollow. Set these aside. And so you can see we've got postcards, the Everblades, and I believe these are lands, warm regards from the Everblades. We're going to open this map of the, the lands here, but these are as if you'd travel to these places. They give you little shots of uh, close up shots of the different regions or places you can visit in Storm Polo. So let's see what other places are on these postcards. Come on. Now the actual designers, developers, creators have done an unboxing as well. So mine's going to maybe pale in comparison. Wow. Not to this artwork though. That is gorgeous. Huh. I love it. Oh my. Beautiful. Wow. The whole idea is it's supposed to beckon beckon you and your children or your family or your group uh, to the lands and uh, I, f I am beckoned. Wow. All right, I'm going to open this in a second but it's big. Um, so just a little more ideas here. Great, cool. Nicely done. Let's open this map and see what's going on, and then we're going to get into the game box itself. So, all right, and hold on, I'm going to go off camera. And coming on. So, all right, so we got Storm Hollow. You've got the border with like these little portals. And you can definitely see your di your regions. Everblaze was the postcard there. Frost Shard. I don't even know if I can get all this in. So, but we'll just kind of pan it. Top of the world, if you can see that. And what I love about this poster um, is that it just, this map just displays, just is evocative toward the places. Look at this jolly atoll. I mean, I want to go there. 
sorry, I'm above it, the Jolly Atoll. I was down at, what is that? Asteria Isle. Huh. And there's the Lands Inn. So you can get a nice feel of the possibilities. Um, hold on and I will be back and we will uh, we'll open this. Alright, let's open this baby up. The plastic on here seems pretty darn tight. There we go. Come on. This is like the most unproductive unwrapping I've done in a long time. Okay, I'm not kidding, this is heavy. You can hear it shifting. And it's unwieldy. Look at the width of this box. You got pretty big hands. All right, there we go. Get that out of the way. And come on. Wow. All right, what do we got? Start here, Poppins. Uh, Kickstarter backers only, says some of that. Tales of New Age. Alright, we'll come back to that. Love it! Look at this. Give me plenty of bags so I can get everything properly bagged up. I love my things bagged. Okay, let's see. It's a little loose already here. It's kind of come open, so let's just... Let's just take a look, see what this is. Okay. Alright. Alright, what are we looking at? Does it even give a hint? Inspire imprisoning the beast. What does that look like? Huh. Okay. So um, I love how the uh, the artwork goes all the way to the edge of the card. No border. Beautiful. Uh Looks like you're going to have maybe some storylines coming out of these cards. So we're going to flip through these really quick. Wow, that is awesome. Oh, gorgeous, <laughs> look at this. Whimsy. Huh. Wow, this is going to be great. Whole different feel. Wow. I mean, just look at all this artwork, all this unique artwork. Huh. A sword there. Gorgeous. That's haunting. The storm. Hmm. Look at that little fairy. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. Lands in, I think, maybe, maybe not. Look at this. Wow. Very dark. And darker. And <laughs> darker. Woo! Whimsy. Ooh, a Medusa? Mmm. Very cool. Yeah, look at that, just like the postcard. Mmm. There's Land's End. See, I feel like I'm getting to know it already. There's the other postcard. Cool. Oh. Now I have the Riftwalker card game as well, um, which facilitates some of this art. I, I might even feel like some of this art is in there. Um, yep, I know I've seen that. Gorgeous. Um, I believe these, wherever this is, I can't remember the full lore, but these, like, asteroids coming in, as they land, they actually make little 
like lands, Starfall Deeps. Hmm. Yep, that's in there. Cool. So some of those are the rifts, or maybe these are all rifts that you can go to. Huh. Wow. Just the content here is amazing. All right, this is going to take some time. I may even, I had another video on here I need to get off. <laughs> I may end up having to jump cut if I run out of space. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Ah, uh, feels like there's two of them there. What is that? Losing lofty leaf. Hmm. All right, we've been through these. Sorry, forgot where we started. I think. Yes, because I cannot forget that fella. Woo! Hmm. All right. Not even 100% sure what these are. Love them. And we, we're not going to open up every one of these cards either. Um, so I'm just going to show you this. You can see it's a huge deck. It looks like of items. Special talent. Curious. If I remember right, if you have certain special talents, you get a card. This is captivatingly curious, and it kind of helps you or gives you powers along the way. Wild. Interesting. No idea what the time and night and day. Interesting. Little wood tokens. Tons of dice. These are like embossed where you can feel your thumb going down into the sun. Yeah, there's just a bunch. And there's some more. Some beautiful gems. And looks like some more cards, yep, of the same nature, same size, similar back. Um, wow. Huh. All right, I may pull through those later. We'll see. This is going to be going long. Uh, some stickers. Okay, it talks about if you're going to play cooperatively. I'm not going to read that all verbatim. Uh, some more decks with items. Wow, another huge set of deck cards. Wow, what a bargain this game was. All right, I knew there was a... A sticker. This is a sticker mat. And I can't remember if they're like restickable, if you put them on your character sheet or or how they work in. I remember them talking about it. And it gives you a little bit more like the rapier here and, uh, and a magic wand. So I'm not sure how the sticker mat plays in, but I remember them talking about it being present. So Battle for Storm Hollow Cooperative Game. This is a short little pamphlet here. Got a page sticking. Okay. Boom. Adventure Planners. So these are all set up to assist in um, the actual role-playing of the game. Beautiful. It's really designed as, a, as a, an introductory role-playing game for kids. So you're going to have four of these. Love it. Whispers of Wonders Adventure Book. Alright, there may be spoilers. The wonders that await you. Looks like it's just rules at this point. Looks like there's, it's almost like uh, some of the lore of the land. Okay, and more rules. Huh. Wow. Okay. Some more adventure planners. Four more. Ah. Hardbound books. Uh, pieces of a broken world. So you can see 
talking hardbound. The breaking of the world. Wow. I'm going to just flip through quickly here. Chapter 10, it said. And I do know everything is set out to furnish the storyteller, who's kind of the game master, into helping uh, the adventurers just dive as deep as they can into the, into the story with a lot of, of picture content, background story already provided. Sticking together a little bit. Lovely. Wow. The Poppins Guide to Venture. Again, hardback. Looks like a little bit skinnier, a little bit smaller. Oh, gorgeous. Venture's the, uh, the walled-in city, I believe. Lovely. So this allows you to move and travel around and through the city and to have all of this information. Hmm. All right, a board here. Okay, we're going to have some more adventure planners and some more books. Let's take a look at this board real quick. in. So, let me pan it. So you can see we've got this. This is the District of Venture and that is the book that we were just looking for. So you can see our clear districts, Diamond Hold, the Brassworks, Silver Wall, Woodward, the Weave, Parchments, Crystal Cade, Emerald City over there. Let me zoom in just a tad. So you can see some of that detail. I mean, look at that. Man, I am impressed with that. Because when you're way out here, you're like, okay, yeah, it's like a color-coordinated little, you know, little something going on. And then when you dive in, and you can, whoop, sorry, and you can see that. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's look in a. We got several more books, and then we got some boards and maybe another map. So let's let's just see the Poppin Guide to Storm Hollow, the Storyteller's Guide, the Preludes. I'm going to scan quickly through these. I got too close. giving you a feel. Wow. We're going to have some time with this. Whew. Down it goes. Poppin's Guide to Storm Hollow. Well, you can see why it took, what, was it five years? And like I said, the chrome here, the polish, is just phenomenal. The storyboard game. Hmm. All right, let's see these. All right, so these are your player boards. So, um... Boy, and I, I think you will ally yourself. I played, like I said, the uh, the Storm Hollow Riftwalker game, but I'm not up on all the rules, obviously, yet here. So let's see. Tail spinner, tail spinner. So you've got a 
It looks to be a male and a female, so you can play whichever side you want. Whiz banger. Rift walker. Storm chaser. Love the books. A light bringer. The storyteller. Love the staircase. Look at that. Oh, blank. Cool. Spark collar. Hmm. Off to the side and another map, and then we are done. Let's see what this is. Very nice quality mounted board. Alright, the rifts of Storm Hollow. So let's see. The invitation, the journey, the big finish, the rift. Then we move into the lands themselves, and I'm going to zoom in on a few of these as well. Let me pause and I'll find a good spot. Alright, the Gilded Tower. I'm going to just try to gently pan around so you can stay in some of the detail. May take it out just a bit, or in, just so we got a little bit better perspective. So there's lands in that you've seen on one of the cards. I love these islands. There's Venture. So you can see you're going to have a whole board just for Venture. Popping Fields. There's Everblaze. Mm. I want to visit. And I really, really am loving Quizzleplex. Let me go into Quizzleplex. That might have been one of my favorite cards. Almost looks like a city on a city. Kind of reminds me of like what I would think an early stage of Coruscant in Star Wars would be. Bandersnatch Burrow. Okay. Oops, sorry. Huh. Alright, let me come out a little further. Let me bring this out. I'll cut. So there sits the land of Storm Hollow. Can't wait to dive in. I'll let you guys know.